Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I did another um, flat board canvas um, turn into a junk journal. Um, I just wanted to play with some of the stuff that Sharon and Jake Garden Girl um, sent me from the Ranger sale. So I played a bunch of the cut with some of the color wash and the goosebumps, and I did a bunch of layering with you know different paints and stuff like that and I played with molding paste and the crackle paint the distressed rock candy crackle and the rock candy stickles and stuff and this journal is 8 by 10 um, the side has a this, the, the paper that's covering the back of it is wrapping paper that I got at Target in the dollar spot and then I have a bag here and then um, I use various papers a lot of it's old I had for years with the exception of some of the scrapbook paper some of it I got well it's old scrapbook paper this is old scrapbook paper but I got it at Savers a month, couple months ago and then, but this is old paper. I'm tr now I'm thinking of um, when I do these I'm going to use some of my old stuff just to get rid of it. Um, got calendar pages, got um, a bag, one of those vintage bags, got some dictionary paper, calen another calendar. I have two different calendars in here. I have three different um, dictionaries in here. This is the uh, Webster's and then I have the children's and then I have like this other dictionary that I had on a shelf for years that's yellowed a little bit and looks really cool. Um, this is I cut to the view and when I did the 12 by 12 because I have some you know 12 by 12 um, papers in here after I cut them to the 8 by 10 size I still have a um, 12 by whatever um, piece left and I just cut the um, the length down to the 10 and kept that and then I have some vellum and then some notebook paper well not notebook note paper and this is the other dictionary some more um, but different papers and then I know <laughs> I have some shiny, without using, showing me too much, I have some shiny paper, and then Prima, and then some other scrapbook paper, and then different colors of vellum, and book paper, and this is a transparency sheet from Teresa Collins, The Travel Lodger. And then I have a file folder that I cut just, I cut it in half and I think I trimmed it this way so I can fit. So a bunch of fun um, book pages and papers and stuff like that. Not too much um, ephemera, well no ephemera in this one at all. And I have some more searches in here. And then the back cover I used is a is, um, piece of um, packing box that I cut one of the panels and then I took placed the canvas on, on it and just traced it to size and then punched the holes and then I well before I punched the holes I used two pieces of the scrapbook paper that I got from Savers and then if you notice when I punched the holes with my uh, crap -a dial and then I did, well, I think I said it, no I didn't, and then when I punched the uh, holes for the paper and then I uh, put put the book together you can see there's a little overhang here and I was going to fix it by me punching the holes you can see here and then you can also see how close they are to the holes that are already punched. And I didn't want to screw up even more, so I decided to leave it be. 
And um, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna take some better pictures, at least on the side, see, you know, outside of the book to show the pages. Because I took a couple and they're all already, they were a little blurry when I did it for my blog. So, um, I'm going to do that and then hopefully I'll get the guts to put it up on my Zibit store. Because last week I already had gotten the guts to put these um, four, um, four by four junk journals. Now, I did a video on these, oh, about three or four months ago, and I took it down for uh, some reason, but um, I think I got scared of putting stuff up for sale. So these are with a um, bunch of scrapbook papers and book paper and um, these scrapbook papers are actually from the scrapbook day by day calendar. I have like 2007 and 2008 and I went through 2008 and took pulling some of the um, papers out and trimmed them to size. And the watercolor is the 90 pound um, artist loft paper, watercolor paper for Michaels. So these, I think I have, these are going for 10 on my store. And then this morning, I finally got the guts to put the, um, these four up here, up on the store. And two of these, two of these have the, these two have the artist loft. Um, watercolor paper with, along with other types of um, scrap of paper and dictionary and maps and all kinds of um, ephemera and fun stuff and envelopes. And same thing for this one. And then the other two, these are five by seven. And then the other two, the six by six and the another five by seven, they both have the Strathmore Visual Journal watercolor paper and 140 pound, I think. It's been a while since I made these two. But they also have um, various um, other papers and ephemera. This, the artist lock paper is <laughs> not artist lock though. Strathmore is very sturdy and thick and it's hard to um, flip through these. And same thing for this one. Different types of papers and scrap of paper and ephemera like that. And these are going for 15. And so along with these four are for 15 and I'll put the link to my exhibit store in the description below along with my blog and so my blog I have on the sidebar on the right a graphic blinky whatever you want to call it and it links you directly to my exhibit store so that's all right now and um Thanks for watching.